Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday at 10 a.m., staff or volunteers from the Cam will highlight an artwork from the museum's collection. So check out this page every weekday at 10 for more. My name is Andrew. I'm the Associate Director of Docent Learning at the museum. And today I want to show you a photograph that, uh, simply put, I just think is really cool. So let's take a look at it. This is a square color photograph of Charles Mingus, an American bassist and composer. It was taken by the American photographer Lee Friedlander in 1959. Now I don't have any rights to play Charlie's music behind my video here, um, but I'd encourage you to go and find Charlie's music and listen to some of it as you're looking at this photograph with me. Um, I would personally recommend Mingus Ah Um. It's one of my favorite records of his, and it also came out around the same time that this photograph was taken. It was purchased by the museum in 2006 with funds provided by Carl Jacobs. The photograph itself is about 15 inches by 15 inches, and it's on a white mat that makes the margin of a few inches on each side. Friedlander took this from a low angle, so Mingus is looking down at the lens. With a dim light behind him and a bright light shining on him, Mingus stands in a dark room and takes up the left half of the photograph. He's a black man with short hair, a long face with a neatly trimmed mustache and goatee, and a relaxed facial expression. There's a shadow along his right temple and cheek and below his chin. He's wearing a black suit with his right hand extending out from his sleeve, resting on top of the body of his upright base. The bass is a dark wooden brown with direct light creating a glare on the body of the instrument. Only half of the body takes up the lower right corner of the photograph. The neck and strings are angled back towards Charlie's head. So there are a couple things about this photograph that I want to point out um, that I thought were interesting. Um, first, uh, just from looking at it, I can tell that Freelander really likes taking photographs, probably more than anything else that he does. Um, I'm thinking specifically about the angle and the composition, but this just feels really immediate to me, even though Charlie's posing in front of the camera. Um, I just get the sense from looking at it that Friedlander isn't wasting a lot of time thinking about how to set up the shot. And that's not to say that he doesn't care about the technical aspects of, of photography, you know, lighting, staging, all that stuff. Um, this just hits me as something that's more candid and in the moment uh, than anything else. And to me, only someone who loves taking photos would commit fully to an image like this. Um, instead of having something that's very conventional and set up and proper, um, this is a different angle. This is a different kind of shot. Um, and to me, that seems to suggest that he likes exploring and experimenting with the medium a bit. Um, and when I say that, I, I'm, I'm separating the whole process of photography from the act of snapping a photo. I think those are, are some di are different things. Um, and to me, uh, this just demonstrates a bit of um, adventurousness that uh, I don't see in every photographer. I'm also fighting the temptation to say that this is, says a lot about Charlie. Um, he was a very iconoclastic figure when he was alive. And I think he still retains a lot of that, um, still revered by music fans for that, uh, myself included. Um, you know, it's not a very conventional, straightforward portrait, and he definitely wasn't a conventional, straightforward guy. So I don't think it's fair to say that this is a definitive portrait of Charlie. Um, you know, he was always shifting and changing, uh, and this is just one moment in time in the late 1950s. So if anything, I think this challenges me to think about the ways that it doesn't sum him up or capture his whole being. And I think I could say the same thing about the photographer, Lee Friedlander. Um, so when he took this, he was a photographer for Atlantic Records. So he was taking photographs of musicians like Charlie and Miles Davis, um, whether it was uh, on the road or in the studio. Um, but he went on to do a lot more interesting things with his photography. He still does. Um capturing scenes and details from various places that he's traveled to. Um, I specifically love his America by Car series from 2010. Um, basically, he took a road trip, and he would take photos from the inside of his car, and a lot of those shots included the windshield and the mirrors and sometimes him himself. Um, I just I, I find those uh, to be 
really fascinating, a really nice way to capture travel, um, especially by car. Um, and, uh, and his, his body of work is, is really wide ranging in, in, in that sense. Um, so I don't even know that I can really judge him as a photographer just based on this one photograph. So all that said, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this photograph with me. I hope it will um, encourage you to go check out some of his other photographs that we have in our collection, as well as um, other museums and galleries. And uh, I hope this uh, challenges you to look at art a little bit differently today. Mm -hmm.